likely a little chamber less than an inch long has been inserted that chamber contains a small lithium battery like goes in your electric watch used to go in heart facers and after a number of months the blood has flowed through this to the point where enough of the aliens the adversary have been neutralized and you no longer have AIDS and yet you can hardly pick up a paper today but the baseball game this Saturday afternoon God help us the proceeds are being dedicated to look for a cure for AIDS cure for AIDS and this is an absolute lie because a perfectly workable totally inexpensive cure for AIDS was invented in this country in March of 1990 and then suppressed. Why? Because a person dying of AIDS will spend up to $20,000 a year for chemotherapy, for treatments which do not work, including ozone, insufflation, blood bubbling, and all. I've been through all this. I have a $17,000 Hamsler ozonator. I have a sander unit that I got from Germany through an American broker. Many of these, uh, hypothermia, or hyperthermia, many of these things seem to work on the drafting board, but the people die. The operation was a success. And 95% of the people who have been through this treatment, which I'm going to demonstrate for you and you can do for yourself, are well. They have no symptoms. That's the difference. Now, doctor, could you help me a minute? His question was, what about the mutation factor? The reason that you read over and over and over that the vaccine didn't work was that once it was put into the body, the AIDS had mutated to the point where it was resistant to that. That's a very good question. Now, you're familiar with this. I can't read this out loud without unsigning five pages of legal documents, but I'm going to show it to you. Now, these are IRBs. This fellow started with 573,983 HIV RNA by PCR. This chap started with 412,000. We started this IRB study last year. In other words, we have a stack at home in my brick case, perhaps eight inches thick, of successful AIDS studies. Now read this date. This is 8 11 When he started, we had 3,064 PCR counts per milliliter. Oh, it's in here. I'll show it to you in a minute. His T cells have recovered to about 500 now. They started at about below 10. Now, here's the date, 11, 8, 9. This is three months later. He finally got around to having another PCR. That means polymerase chain reaction test, 95. HIV-1 RNA by PCR less than, the little figure, less than 100, which means that it was zero. Thank you. Did that do an adequate job? That did it. Thank you. This is all it took. It cost him nothing. We have never charged one single one of our AIDS patients a penny for undergoing this study. All they have to do is buy their own lab tests when they're finished, which is quite reasonable. The funny thing about these tests was the biggest laboratory, it's in San Jose, California, that does PCR testing west of the Mississippi would not return these to my hospital, which is in uh, Newport Beach. They said there is no such thing as a cure for HIV. Why should we t send these tests? Obviously, you substituted the blood from the patient. Or you've gotten the clean patient here, and you put the old patient's name on it, etc., etc., etc. So no, we haven't. 
Then what did they do? They had some secretaries at the laboratory that began calling our secretaries. I said, what are you doing down there? You're reporting clean blood. You're sending in blood that's clean. This is impossible. What had happened? They were frightened to death of the mafia, the drug cartels, the medical associations. Don't forget, children, a patient cured is a customer lost. And why? Will they allow a dollar thirty-two cent cure when the average person with cancer is spending from fifty thousand to two hundred thousand dollars for surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation? May I tell them about you, Jane? When Jane's cancer had metastasized and the doctor told her that she would surely die if she did not receive chemotherapy and the rest of the things, radiation, she said, no, I'm going along with blood cleaning because only 4% of the people survive your protocols. And our last test, you have a totally clean biopsy and you have a totally clean CAT scan. And she lost 29 pounds. <laughs> we have hundreds of these people. A lady comes around to breakfast occasionally, Linda Wright, who had lupus. She could hardly make it from the couch to the bathroom. She couldn't get out of the house. Her energy was shot for the day. I gave her one of my units. I'll show it to you later. In three weeks, she went back to the doctor, the MD who had been treating her for about 10 years, and got a totally clean blood test. The doctor could not believe it. He sent it to a second laboratory for confirmation. Linda has come around to the cafe where we met this morning at 8 o'clock on Bristol Avenue in Santa Ana. Totally cured. She's trying to get her blood test from the doctor. Meanwhile, we have hundreds of them from the doctors that I have given this apparatus to it. Replace the batteries for free. I'm not making a nickel on this. This is what you've got to know. And it works. And why haven't you heard about this? There are billions of dollars invested in magnetic resonance imaging, MRI machines. Invested in surgery, x-ray, CAT scan. Many of these contracts are held by such companies as General Electric and Westinghouse and others that build this apparatus. Somebody has to amortize this. And I have heard that the Mafia owns 51% of most of the major drug houses, pharmaceutical houses in the U.S., and maybe 60% of the illegal drug cartels, cocaine and heroin, everything in South America. They're playing both sides of the fence. They're pretty smart. Do you think they want this information to get out to people like yourselves? There'll be about 10 people in this room where this information will fall on fertile ground and you'll do something with this. There are emerging viruses now that were designer made. They all start with the uh, Reverse transcriptase, well, for example, HIV started with bovine Vishnu virus and was back engineered, according to Dr. Stryker and others. Have any of you here read the book, The Emerging Viruses by David Horowitz? Wonderful. David Horowitz. Leonard. 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 I'm sorry. Leonard. Len, Len Horowitz. He was on KPFK the other night. I listened to him. Dr. Stryker's work as well. Yes. I used to appear on the talk shows with Strecker when, when his brother was still alive, somebody murdered him. I know these people. 